Hello everybody and welcome back to Global Summer Boy at Homework. Today we are heading up and then no down with a single launch big ass space station. I know I've done this before. But this time we are doing it in a bigger scale and it's much more useful and the key point is it's way better looking because the other one just <laughs> sucked to be honest. But this one, this one, this one looks good. This one looks good. And as you can see by the fairing, it's fucking big. So, while we're launching, if you love Corporal Space Program, if you love space, or you just like having fun, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. We're trying to reach 80 subscribers, by the way, so if you can hit this, that would be fucking amazing. So, we're high up, we're high up. This, by the way, is a really quick video because we just had to circularize, circularize around orbit and just do whatever the fuck and assemble the space station. Yes, we need an assembly, we need to assemble the space station. It's basically just a big ass, thin ass space station, but with solar panels, the only thing that I had to ass assemble was the solar panels. So, yeah. That's is gonna be that, but spoilers ahead. <laughs> there was a little teeny tiny problem that was that just had to happen because yeah, fuck my life. That's why. So yeah, um, as you can see, we're already circularizing, almost circularized. You can see the entire space station now. It's just that. It has two of those signs laboratories, which is crucial because I plan on using this thing instead of just living in space and just never visiting it. I actually plan on using it whenever I get to a mission, instead of bringing the entire laboratory with me, I just want to get everything, all the signs, come to the laboratory here and then research it. But there's a problem. One laboratory can only research up to 500 signs, which is far away from ideal. Since we're getting around a thousand per mission. So yeah, okay, the, there was the fault. I didn't have a docking port on one side of the... Uh, that 4 bay thing, I don't know what the fuck it's called. But I didn't have a docking port here. Now, <coughs> when I tried to bring it in, this happened and I was like, Okay, okay, life isn't, life isn't fair. Life is not fair, man, but yeah. So, yeah, I have two of the laboratories because I can research two of the same th in the same time and have thousand science units in a single mission which will hopefully give me much more science I mean that is that completely necessary no I just have to I just have to do more missions to get those science points because I'm almost I almost unlocked the entire tech tree so is this a really important thing no definitely not but is it fun Hell fucking yeah. It's also one of the more relaxing type of missions that I've done. Because, okay, how many of you are there and being Kerbal Space Room YouTubers that have been playing this game for years now? And, or any, any game that you have been playing for years and enjoyed playing it, but suddenly when you start making curve videos on it, and you have the audience that is waiting for that video to come out you just suddenly stop enjoying the game it's not like okay no you don't stop enjoying the game you still keep on enjoying the game I mean that's what I'm talking about myself here I still love Carbal Special I still adore it it's still my favorite fucking game but at one point I just stop having fun like my style of playing is not like going to a mission and doing it. I just like to just do fucked up stuff. 
Like maybe changing the plume of a rock, modding the game and then f modding the game even more because pff, reasons. I just like playing with the configs and that's all. So that 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 thing was there, wiggly wiggly. I don't like that. And I just at some point, many of you will probably agree, agree with me. Stop having fun with the game while recording or and. I just stop, uh, I just don't play the game at all when I'm not recording, because, well, I just want to get the entire mission out into YouTube, which where the fun is, but, I don't know, that, that, maybe that leads to fucking burnouts on YouTube, I don't know, but yeah, so this was one of the more relaxing missions, as I said. It just, there was a thing, it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't stick on there, on the, pay, on the place that I want it to be, because probably it just only needs a node, a node to stick there, but yeah, no fam, I, I sticked it up to wherever and then just offset it, which now is, oh my god. Thanks to Crispy Developer that brought this thing in because that is helping a lot. <laughs> like this mission would have been entire scrap if it was to one that thing. I was I was this close to scrapping this mission and then I remembered, oh we can do that. Let's make it because it's gonna make the mission even more fun. So, yeah. We're docked, almost, like kinda, and there we go, we docked. I don't know how I pulled that in my first try, but all the sol solar panels were <laughs> lined up exactly the same. The previous video is up there, by the way. The solar panels were offset to each other, one was looking a little bit down and the other was looking a little bit up, but these didn't. I don't know how, but they didn't. I guess reasons. This thing. Kerbal Space Rim. Squat, for the love of God. The robotic parts on this game is, are so fucking broken and they they are pain in the ass to work with if you want something complex to work. Come on man, fix this thing for the love of beautiful God. Just just fix it, please. Just fix it. It didn't work until I time warped, but why? Because reasons. So you may be wondering, what are those things? They're just a bunch of docking ports. Yes, they exactly are that, a bunch of docking ports and this port. Why are they there? Because docking. We need a lot of docking ports when we come from outer space and yeah. We need them, and also we need them to be easily accessible because limited fuel. Duh. So yeah, look at this beautiful shot. Look at Roth. Look at Lua, and the new space station, which I forgot what it was called. Wasn't it called like something R S S S, like Soviet reu reunion shit? But no, it stands for Road Science Space Station. Yeah, it's triple S. R triple S. Yeah. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch love up, punch subscribe. If you're new, and as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have an awesome week.